It's that time again, everybody. Holla Fam Podcast. Holla Family. What's going on, yo? You got your boy right here, Finesse. You also got the homie, Shameless. Shameless, say what up to all. Yo, what's up, everybody? Holla Family back. Welcome back. All right, all right. We got Feast for Thought also. What's going on, Feast? I'm doing all right, man. It's a, it's a struggle this week, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, wow, conversations, man. It's crazy. Yeah, we've been snowed in over right. here, but... uh. But um, this week's topic, yo, just getting into it, um, funny thing, man, it was really, it was really spur of the moment. Um, a lot of things that we talk about, I kind of spared a moment with current events. Uh, Corinne Steffens, not the topic, but you know, Corinne Steffens kind of spurred the topic. She put out a video um, where she kind of was just like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. If you, if you haven't seen it, look it up. It's probably really recent. It's a video where she's like, oh, I'm a woman and I like having sex, and I like sucking dick, and I don't even remember what she said, like, that's basically <laughs> the whole video, that's basically it, like, <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, stress this enough, that was really the whole video, and then she wrote a long caption about it, like, you know, I'm a woman, and I choose to do what I want to do, yada, yada, don't try to slut shame me, and, you know, that's what kind of spurred us to the topic of, like, hold on a second, like, you know, the, the topic for today is just kind of, like, prom- promiscuity, and, systemic inequality so like basically slut shaming as in to paraphrase as, a, as you know a, the feminist movement would call it and girls who are frowned upon and treated as you know like well the, it's frowned upon and then they're, they're looked at a certain type of way and is, is that kind of a problem is how does that work out more deeper understanding of that so we're just gonna start off with like everybody here's like definition just to get it clear because some people might think like we're advocating violence against women or anything like that we're not talking about that so we're just talking about being frowned upon society's eye on you so to you guys like what is what is slut shaming to you guys and like what would you guys call that um i honestly don't know exactly what slut shaming is but i've gotten a sense of what it is from um women that i've come in contact with and it's basically whenever a woman you know um expresses herself sexually and then gets backlash and um mm-hmm. pretty much they they can't they can't be as sexual or they, they they can't express themselves to the point where people can understand them or something like that or the fact that they are expressing themselves and people don't like it and and they feel mm-hmm. like they they're you know they're they're frowned upon upon society so i i guess that's what slut shaming is that's, that's that's how I got it so far. Yeah, I would say like slut shaming to me is kind of like a lack of admiration for your sexual exploits, and <clears throat> and where like maybe maybe it's name calling, or you know just 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 overall maybe bad experiences with the same sex and opposite sex because of your sexual exploits. You know what I'm saying? So I mean for the for the most part. I think that's the gist of such thing. And I think a lot of it like gets gets illuminated when there's when there's names calling like using the word ho or fat and things like that. And mm-hmm. so I mm-hmm. think that I think that kind of perpetuates like the real the real gist of like slut shaming you know that whole yeah i i take it as name calling as well like that's what i i I thought like shut up you a hoe or like yo she's probably a hoe anyway or like you know what i'm saying but to me like it's it has to be based off of something for it to be falling in the category of slut shaming not saying that it has to be based on promiscuous behavior but just doing anything sexually Mm -hmm. and you getting a name for it and something and that's basically yeah that's basically slut shaming um and i guess my main issue with that is that we just can't throw everybody I, I just feel like it's too too widespread of like everybody's put in the same boat and i don't think it's it's that black and white like yeah i agree with you. the I feminist agree, movement sure. would have you believe that it is a black and white thing that any woman who yeah, yeah you know what i mean like they're all in this they're they're all victims or all whatever and you know granted there are victims but there's victims of like assault verbal assault there's victims of like sexual assault all that like i leave them as isolated cases as if you're a victim of blank a victim of blank i wouldn't say like slut shaming is this big category where like everybody's it's a victim one of the major because, ones because yeah like you got you got somebody like corinne stefan 
who has done numerous porn videos and wrote a book about how she slept with all of these successful men to get money out of them and all this other stuff and basically like swindled her way through society which was she which she was successful at you know what i mean like that's fine but like you're mad that society frowns upon that like i think that's your that's od for you to just be like oh well you know I can do what I want. Y'all, y'all can't, you know, y'all can't call me a slut or anything like that. It's like, oh, like, but... But you kind of like, fall into the category. Right, you, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but, but I do I do want to touch on one thing real quick. Like, one thing I will say about slut shaming that, that I notice, like, when I see on, like, YouTube comments or, you know, live TV or whatever, is like, like, it's like, dudes be, dudes slut shame girls for, like, the simplest shit. Like, a girl, a girl's, a, a girl, like... Karuche, she's in a relationship with Chris Brown. Everyone calls her a little slut and a little hoe for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, she's dating, she's dating the guy. Like, what do y'all? You know what I'm saying? Her name ain't all this. She ain't fucking mad guys. Like, for, for to the best of our knowledge, but it's just like, like a girl could just be in a a girl that you don't know that could just be in a relationship with uh, a, a prominent athlete or a prominent entertainer, and oh, she's already a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone, everyone wants to label label the girl label girls a hoe like even the even like if you're a girl and you date floyd mayweather you're a hoe that's how yeah that's true that's true yeah that's very true with that respect it's like i understand like oh just because oh just because she's dating a guy like like come on man that's just that's just od so i understand from that perspective but but like yeah this whole corinne stephens with the like she's she's just the, like she's just the wrong person to be talking about that stuff. Like. <laughs> yeah, and there was a lot of backlash if you read like comments and stuff on the internet of people who were defending her of like, nah, she's you know whatever whatever they were saying. I don't I don't really remember them verbatim, but I just feel like a lot of those comments that's defending her. I'm like, yo, you're gonna defend her of all people, like of all like defend Karuchi, like what you were saying before. Karuchi's been in a committed relationship with Chris Brown. Stood by him as he went to jail, went to rehab, exactly. had a baby by had a baby by another woman. You know what I mean? Like she's trying to like stand by him, and then all of a sudden she's slut shamed. But it's like I don't think it's I don't think it's um wise to be defending Corinne Stephan of all people, who's just basically somebody who hustles her body, and you know that that's what she does. She hustles her body, and she did it for a very long time, and it worked out. And I'm like, all right, so. That's basically like me going into the street and seeing uh, a prostitute come up to me and be like, "Oh, don't slut shame me," and I'm just like, "Look, you're like a hooker." Like, that's what I, don't you know that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's slut shaming if I call you a hooker, but you know what I mean. Like, I, I really don't know. So maybe she's you know changed her life. Maybe Chris Stevens is, but at the same time, like she spent a long time building up that reputation. She put out multiple books. Like, yeah, because it's about attention though for her. Because like in the video, she's talking about like you know how she sucks her partner's dick or whatever and 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 um you she has the same thing to do whatever and my thing is like okay you're in a committed relationship that's your business nobody cares and but right? the thing that really got the thing that got me is when she started trying to attack men like she's talking she's talking you know she's talking about dudes is gay men here and dudes beating up their wives she starts going in on a tangent i'm just like i'm like okay if the, if any of this stuff's happening, why you need to like address who you're talking about and expose them. Like, don't just start talking in general about men. Like, whoever you're talking about, you need to address who you're talking about. Because I don't I don't take someone attacking attacking men in a general fashion just saying shit. Because it sounds mm-hmm. like you're just making shit up. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you have if you have real grievances, you have real problems with whatever that some that somebody's done to you, then talk about it. Mm. don't just don't just don't just you don't just take a don't just take the opportunity to like do do you do whatever you do and then take the opportunity and then like attack us for it for what like why you gotta talk shit for like nobody's bothering you're in a relationship that's your business nobody cares like you were like people talked about you 10 12 years ago just stop you know what i'm saying right right like when i was in high school nobody's thinking about you just shut the fuck up Seriously, <laughs> like that's the problem, and I wish more guys would tell her to shut the fuck up. A lot like, of dudes I, out there don't have the balls to do it. Exactly. Nah, like, not at all. Talk too much. Just keep your mouth shut. Like you're not doing your thing, mind your business. Why you gotta come out here and start trying to start shit and talk shit to us for? Like if you got a problem <laughs> with dudes out there, name the dudes you got a problem with and you address them. But don't come over here with that trying to be sanct- sanctimonious, like, yo, yo, you guys do this, that, and the third. Like, I don't wanna hear that shit. 
that's one of the so, main issues because most people don't know how to you know isolate the issue to where the source is they like to generalize and go to the extreme and then put it on everybody so everybody can be involved and help them out mm -hmm. and that's not good because if you can't handle it at the source then you're going to make it a widespread issue and then every, everybody's going to get lost right and it just makes everything toxic a toxic environment you know what i'm saying because like most guys are reasonable you know what i'm saying if you know most guys aren't don't support disrespect and and in people getting treated treated badly you know what i'm saying so if you have real problems with somebody say it you know what i'm Word. saying you get you're, you should be able you should be able to enlighten men and and gain their support that's the mm -hmm. that's the goal right yeah, so but you know, not when you just come out and just start attacking about, about, all over the places on general shit then like where is this going mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying if you got if if, if you guys were if you guys were to rewrite the rules of who is a victim and who's not and like were to like set some well no nah, i'm not saying set in stone but like if you guys were like to kind of give some set some light on that and got guide like who's a victim versus who's not what would your opinion on that be like all right how do you know they're a victim versus like maybe we need to just chill out for a second before we jump to their defense of, uh wait a victim of like like just being called a hoe and stuff like that unfairly but, being I, I not mean, even that but being uh, like verbally assaulted i mean being i mean a victim, type of way. Uh, the thing about that is it's common sense if you see someone they're doing what they're they're supposed to be doing they're minding their business like he said like karachi she's in a relationship with somebody and she's in a committed relationship she's doing what she needs to do as a girlfriend and then people are just getting at her for no apparent reason that's uh, so karachi barely shows any skin in her picture exactly <laughs> yeah. so you see what i'm saying that's like that's that's so obvious that's so common that's common sense that people are hating on her when somebody is hating on you for doing the right thing that's when it becomes like harassment and all that extra blah 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 but if you're actually you know putting yourself out there doesn't mean that you do deserve that but you give leeway for it yeah all right cool because I, I i was thinking about that i'm like maybe i phrased that the wrong way because i'm not saying anybody deserves it or has it coming because that's totally wrong but i do think that if you're going to jump to the defense of somebody you know you might want to go lean to the side of a karuchi to the side of a like you know what, even to say somebody who does um live kind of outside of the social norms like um like christy mack the porn star who got beat up like got, defend her she got ostracized you know? by other women like uh oh, she's a slut anyway she's in porn like they was coming yeah, out her crazy her. You, you, like, know, she, you know you know the funny thing the funny thing is what what i've it's not a conclusion but majority of the time i see that like the base of where you know calling women this and calling people names and yada 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 majority of the time as i grew up i've been getting that from women like I, at first, like, cause don't don't you see whenever like you you start getting a lot of girls that like you, like w older women be like, oh, don't you hang around these little hoes? Exactly. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, you got these little. Be careful with these little sluts out here. They they'll get you like all all messed up. Like, and then other girls who who don't like the girls that are on you, they're like, oh, you must be hanging with these hoes. Is that what you say to all these hoes jealousy, out here? Yeah, jealousy. Yeah, exactly. Jealousy. And then like, like yeah. what do you expect from guys? when 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 they get that when from from women they're gonna start looking at other women as hoes like because you keep telling them they're hoes so they're gonna refer to them as hoes too it's not right you shouldn't you shouldn't do that but at the same time when when you're when you're labeling other women hoes and sluts and yada 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 you kind of have to expect that guys are going to catch up upon that and start doing the same thing and and another thing too what about like dudes that are in relationship with girls or whatever and like like a girl could just be cool and friendly to to, to you and your girlfriend might think she won't like her oh she's probably a slut she's probably a hoe you know yeah. what i'm saying like, that's yeah. type of stuff that i've gotten that a lot oh my god you know what i'm saying like that happens all the time and stuff but i will say with the chrissy mac i you know i've I, I got two things that i didn't like about that situation you had girls that were slut shaming her like oh you're in porn whatever whatever she's nobody and then you had guys like well she cheated on him and what do you expect like she doesn't deserve to get her face beaten like come on you know yeah, yeah. she didn't she didn't deserve none of that's that that's an extreme like, man like, whatever it needs to go to extreme it's not that serious yeah like nah. you you walked in on her she was with another dude and you beat her face and like bro like 
the, the fact that you thought that was yours is ridiculous anyway so yeah, yeah no, nobody else is your property man that's basically slavery right there exactly nobody belong you don't yeah nobody belongs to you so knock it off uh, you know what all right so, so so hold on so you so you got you got those two girls right and yeah. then you also have the flip side of things like uh, um are you guys familiar with the rita aura thing where she was dating one of the kardashian dudes or what's his name scott kardashian or something like rob, that rob kardashian rob rob kardashian my bad i'm terrible with names but um he was dating rita aura and then when they broke up he was like yo she cheated on me over 30 times with di- well, I don't know if it was different guys, but he was like she cheated on me over thirty times. And like, granted, I wasn't there. I don't know if it's the truth or not. But then, you know, if somebody's like, "Oh, Rita Ora is like, oh, she's a hoe" or something like that, whatever the case is, it's wrong. But that's not the person that I'm jumping up to defend because it's like you got your dirt out there in the streets, and you're also yeah. doing things that are quote unquote um, against, I guess, these the the norms of our culture that we live in. So I understand. What I'm saying is that, like, basically, this whole name calling and all this stuff, it happens in cultures when people do something that's outside of the group, right. or outside something, something that's deemed improper by the group as a whole. Whether it's wrong or not, you look at places even like um, Japan, where it's even more kind of rigid as it are as it is now, where they have a very, very yeah, high very suicide rate. They have a high suicide rate because of, because when you do something that's against the um, the norms of society it's also like your family that like kind of shuns you as well so yeah. people end up being like blackballed in their communities because of this and that's why they have such a high suicide rate mm-hmm. but then it's also at the same time like for us with our society we're a little more laid back we're cool with it we're not like blackballing people but at the same time like if i sold drugs and i came out in the street and i was like yo i deal coke but i'm saying like you go to the pharmacist to get your fix when you need Ico, <laughs> when, you need, when, you need, <laughs> when you need Promethazine or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's just, like, nobody's nobody's gonna come up to defend me, like, yo, don't call him a dirtbag just because he's selling drugs, like, well, yeah, yeah, like, come you on. know, yeah, you kind of, that's a double standard, isn't it? Yeah, it, 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 it's a, a little bit, I don't know if double standard is the right word, but I, I, would, I would say that, um, like the reason why I feel like for promiscuity in women is frowned upon so much is just because of the the association that it has with prostitution. And I don't think that promiscuity in women is necessarily like a bad thing just because women are more liberated now because they have money. Like they don't need men as breadwinners anymore. So it's cool, you can do what you wanna do. But at the same time, it's like there's, you can be classy about what you do. If you choose to have multiple male partners, you know, be classy about it as there's opposed a, there's to like. There's a way to go about yeah. doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like there's like put it this way. Like we got boys that all get a lot of ladies, right? There's the dude who's just quiet about it. He's chill. He respects that woman's privacy the same way he respects his own privacy, right? But then there's the dude you know who's got videos on his phone and he show them to everybody. Yep. And then when he gets yep. in a beef with the chick, he's like, "That's okay, cause I'm gonna put out your naked pictures." Not like you know what I mean? That's od. You know, that's not yeah. classy, like. You know what I'm saying? There's different ways you can go about it, and I just think promiscuity and having sexual freedom is not a bad thing for women. But handling yourself like without class and being just like a bum with it, yeah. If you're acting like a bum, then somebody's gonna call you a hoe and don't be mad about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like be more, you know, classy. Be like a grown woman. Be mature about your shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. And own it or- too, man. Don't don't act don't act like you you know you're infallible and 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 it's it's taboo to to be honest and upfront about what you want and and another thing too is do things because you really want to like if you want to go if you if you like a guy you feeling a guy and you want to have sex with him that's your business and that's your right to do that but don't just try to don't just try to say i want to go fuck a bunch of guys because i see guys doing it or i want attention like that's ridiculous you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. because because like there's a lot there's a lot of responsibility that comes with having most of the problems. There's a lot of shit. It's not it's like guys don't walk around with a crown on their head and a championship belt when they get a bunch of girls. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot that comes with that shit. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. And 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 yes, a lot and yes, there's guys out there that get a lot of girls, but who says that's responsible? Because it's not responsible. You know what I'm saying? I can, no. I can admit that shit. You know, say I'm I'm well I'm well aware of the risk, you know, but but yeah, and it, it, I'm not. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'm well aware of the risk, you know. I'm glad it never cost me dearly for for those for those learning experiences. But I can reflect on it, and I can tell people, I can tell young dudes like, yo, like you don't have to do all that. 
like you don't have to have a get a bunch of girls to be cool you don't have to like if you you do what you feel like if you like her you want to if you want to lay with her do it safely and do what you do you don't gotta go open your mouth and go talk about it or whatever but yeah that's basically what I saw yeah. about it, you know. But but the problem there too is that is the double standard that we live in that men who do it and men who have multiple partners are also not really like looked at as like, why? Men. Uh, that, hang on, hang on. But hang, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna get quick, into. Yeah, like, real why? quick, real quick. Look, ahead, the ahead. reason why is there's a like yes, there's a double standard. Of course, there's double standards that favor women and there's double standards that favor men. But I'm saying as far as like double standards, as far as like having multiple pa- partners, the reason why it's not so much of it comes off as not as a big deal to men opposed to women is because men we don't make a big deal out of another man having sex with mad girls like we don't shit on other guys for having sex with mad girls girls do that <laughs> shit to each other. you know what i'm saying like yo y'all make a mad big you, you guys make a huge deal out of of other people's sexual business and i don't understand that shit like only girls can come out with books and talk about who they had sex with. Got Trey Songz can't come out with a book talking about girls he had sex with. Like nobody's buying that shit. Nobody oh, cares. Nah. Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. Like we're all grown ass. We're all grown ass adults in our twenties and early thirties. Like everybody has sex. So making a big deal out of sex is played out. Like honestly, I'm at the age where like when people have these OD sexual conversations and shit, like. That shit turns me off because I'm like, yo, man, that shit is corny. Like, you guys acting like you just you just hit puberty. Like, it's not that serious. Like, relax. Like, you know yeah, what I'm like saying? Like, been there, act like you've been there before. Yeah, act like you've had sex before. Stop talking about it like you so hyped and gas off the shits. Like, you just discovered you just discovered you can get a boner two years ago. Like, come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I think I got, I, I got a different take on that, though, based on what you were saying. Well, not that whole conversation shit, but I mean the, the piece about um, where women don't so women aren't like chill about it the way men are chill about it i think it's still like that's more of i think the, the, the strategy the strategy to change the 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 stigma behind it if women were more cool with it it would change the stigma but i feel like the stigma from that comes from like it's more i, I think it's even a religious thing to a degree because if you look back like people who in back in the day they would say like oh she's impure or something right. like that like she's she's been defiled she's dirty whatever as far as opposed to a man so really where it's just like, yeah religion that's like that's the biggest institution out there that that is that gives women inequality and and judges and shames women for sexual promiscuity that's the biggest institution right there is religion mm-hmm. what people never understood but, is that back then that was the only form of government Mm-hmm. So that those were the only rules that they kind of had in place until you know democracy came and then you had it was like the strongest form I would say it was like strong it, it kind of was like the the fuel behind all governments a little mm-hmm. bit yeah even in America like religion was a big part back of back in the, the day but people like, were more superstitious married. so they could believe most of the things that came out of religion but 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 the, re- the reason why religion actually like went there I think is because when you're a woman you are born with a womb. And when a man is born, he's born with like you know genitals. You know what I'm saying, like or whatever. So for for whoever was writing probably religious texts or something like that, or whoever goes back, they're looking at that womb like, all right, this is like the garden where children and whatever like people come from. So we need to keep this clean and safe, and right. it can't be it can't be just you know. Like you can't have everybody in there. Like it's not like this is we're saving this for right. the baby. You know, saving this for like the right thing. And then it's like, oh, okay. Once that thing got paraded around, it's like, yo, you're supposed to have. It's like you know having a nice car, but you're not treating it like a like a nice car. You're not like taking care of it. It's like, oh, but you're supposed to have a baby with that. Like, and you just parading it around like it's worthless. But that's right. like crazy. You're supposed to have a kid with that. And you know, granted, that's the old school way of thinking. Exactly. But I think that's it's not where the 50s it comes anymore. from. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think I'm just talking like I think that's where it comes right. from. But I do I, think that you have a good point though. If they if they if women just all agree to like stop you know tripping about it and like they all defend chicks which we're kind of you know fighting against today but <laughs> it's still like I, I think i think they can you know help come over but, that. but here's the thing like they'll defend them when like a girl like corinne stephens right they'll sit there and like she'll say something that she'll say something uplifting for women in spite of men and they'll support that but mm-hmm. In other instances, they'll just sh- they'll they'll forget about her, no shit about her, and they'll call her names. That's again, it's like bipolar shit. Like you support what she says, and then like you'll go call her a slut too. So it's like, where's the you know what I'm saying? Where's your co- where's your where's your commitment at? You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing mm-hmm. I, that's confusing. But I I think we are onto something when we bring up about um 
that religion because I think religion that's the biggest institution that does that shit that really shames you like you shouldn't even like women aren't supposed to even be wearing white in weddings if they if they've had sex before marriage like shit like that like you know what I'm saying like that's that's yeah. horrible you know and yeah, they're not supposed yeah. to they're supposed to save themselves for marriage before they start having sex like that's crazy bro right like there's some, some people there's don't some get married until like 40 something years old you're gonna wait 40 years to realize how to have sex yeah, there's some churches out here that are um like uh like they'll talk about you if you come in there with like a short sleeve shirt on you know yeah, woman like that old school stuff like that like you know turkey right there religion you know what i'm saying i want to see these feminist groups attack a religion i want to see them challenge that shit oh my gosh don't don't get on feminist please <laughs> I hope so. I, I guess I, I guess you know what. For it's funny too, cause like let's let's roll with that, cause like feminist is such a bad word to men, even guys who aren't um necessarily like male chauvinists and like even regular guys. You're feminist and you're just like, oh man, like why why is that? Like why are we all so like? Okay, the thing about feminists, I don't associate them with people. I I associate them with like their own like separate cult or whatever, because. They like to preach about, you know, making equality between men and men and women. First off, you already messed up by calling it feminism. You're supporting only things that benefit um, females. Won't if you if you want equality for men and women, why don't you call it equalism or something like that? So, mm -hmm. if you if you want to, and plus if you want equality, you can't ask for the same things that men have like gender roles when we when we're clearly different where we're born different that's how it's meant to be and i'm not saying that there are some as as in human rights yes we are equal but at the same time we're not going to have the same roles in life because one i'm born with a penis and you're born with a vagina and breasts so okay. there's already two differences right then and there like it's all it's all there's going to be two different roles that we have to play in order for things to work with the family with society and stuff like that so I think they're missing the points between then and there because they want everything to be whatever a man has, a female has to have. It, 100% of the time, that's not going to work because right. you can you can be a female and you can make just as much as money as a man can. Cool. That's that's your your that, that, that's your path. I think that's path. fine. That's, I, think, yeah, that's I think that's path. a legitimate right though. Like your the path. whole salary Listen, thing. Like <laughs> that's that's their path. That's you you but majority of the time the way they preach is like they're not giving people the uh, option especially women the option to do what they want to do with their lives they're telling them oh no you have to empower yourself to be better than men what if she really wants to stay home and be a housewife is she like is she not is, did, it, did, did, is she not allowed to you know get, take that choice for herself like you're you're pretty much like it's kind of like religion too like you're, you're forcing it upon them to for them to understand, oh, men are bad, men are this, I have to be better than that, and blah blah blah. It's like, come on, man! Like, you're 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 not you're not working with logic or common sense. Like, it, it doesn't. That, that's why a lot of people frown upon feminism because they they like to point out things that are so invalid and they don't really bring facts. Right. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah. know. That's pretty much how like I. Like me. Like me. The thing. My problem with feminism is like it's too. It's too general and vague, and it doesn't really specify the agenda. Because, like, a lot of times you'll hear patriarchy, pa patriarchy, but, like, ex like, let's expound on that. Let's explore exactly what your grievances are that we can help you with. And also, the thing when you deal with feminism and feminists is, like, you're, it's never a learning experience. It's always, like... It's always, like, a get defensive on each side experience where, like... Lame game, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It's the blame game. You know what I'm saying? You did this or well, you represent something that does this to us. Like, no, like tell me what your problem is. Let's ex let's talk about solutions and let's come to let's come together and help each other out. That's it. I don't know what it, it shouldn't be that difficult. But like but there's so and there's so many egos attached to fe feminists too. You know what I'm saying? And because because they get super competitive and combative with men. They're always in competition with men. Like, that's not the goal. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it's tricky. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for like organizations, or organizations that are pushing a certain group forward. But I do think that the, the image that 
goes on with feminism is anti-men and that's what really turns a lot of guys off it's like you hear you think feminism you automatically feel like they're anti-men and you associate them not as like um a learning experience like you said but more of a threat like okay well they're like trying to come at me and people getting guys get defensive yeah. so i think that maybe if there were more uh, the, 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 they've come a long way i will say that but there's definitely a lot of things that are like kind of unequal in our society with men and women that's cool and we can tackle that but i think there needs to be more of a collaborative type of um exactly. feel for that and it's it's just a i will say there probably is a bunch of feminists out there that are doing that but then there's also a lot of them that have the wrong idea and it really turns off a lot of a lot of guys you know we don't want you to be anti us like all right you're not getting paid as much for the same jobs cool let's talk about like like what you said let's see if we can get some legislation let's see if we can talk about this and I'm, i bet they've been working on that for years but you know i don't know man it, it, it seems like it pushes a lot of guys off because we I mean men automatically get defensive whether it's right or wrong um it just seems like you know they have this image of being the enemy so I, I don't I don't know why that is, but it, it's rough, man. Yeah, they should fight to try to change that. Like, like your movement isn't teaching the ones that need to be taught. Like, mm -hmm. you need me you should want men to help you out. You should want men to collab with you. Like, mm -hmm. and you're not reaching us, and you need to try a different way. Like, just like basically, even like maybe like young kids with hip hop or whatever. Like, you can't have the old preacher trying to preach the, preach the little kids to tell them. To stay off the corner they're not gonna listen to you so you have mm -hmm. to figure out different ways to get to the kids you know what i'm saying maybe mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you know, you know maybe maybe you understand their world a little bit better and then you can relate to them and then you can present them what you want them to do and they'll listen but when you just when you just get on your soapbox and start talking down to people like yo this is what's wrong with you 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 then no nobody's examples. trying to hear that nobody's trying to listen to you with no like examples you want, and you no want your help. Yeah, like if you want, if you want, if you want help, or if you want a solution, if you want things to get get done, work with us. <laughs> what if um? What do you what do you uh? How do you how do you think about people who compare like the feminist movement to like the gay rights movement to like it's not even same. back to like to like civil rights? Like the people say, oh, like okay, how do, like, we're just fighting for our rights the same way that black people fought for their I, rights. I, it's, it's not just, the same I, thing. Like, that's just, it's, completely ridiculous that is not the same thing ridiculous. man yeah but, but speak on it speak on it because right. like no no go ahead man. all right yeah my, my bad with um with feminists they're pretty much just trying to reprise their role for women um for for men to be taken over by women and when you we talk about civil rights and other type of um stuff like that their movement was to be on equal parts with society you see what I'm saying? Like black people were trying their hardest to get voting rights the same as white men and women. And that's just it. That's all they wanted. They just wanted to the right to vote just like every other human being on earth or anything like that. But when you have a female telling you, oh no, you can't tell me what to do. I'm going to do it no matter what. And they're not trying to come and give you a solution where both of us can ha have a positive light out of it. And then one 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 person gets gets the, you know the the privilege and then the other person loses like that that doesn't work. You're supposed to be on this. Um, you're supposed to try and work it out so it can balance out. But there's no balance within feminism. It's an extreme. It's, I I feel like it's an extreme movement. Like you can't do that. If you want equal rights for a man, you can't expect chivalry. You can't expect a guy to like lay down his life, and then all of a sudden you want um equal rights when you're in danger like it doesn't work that way right mm. yeah like for me i think it just i think it's a cop out and it's like it's it's just it's just it's just it's just a horrible comparison just because like like civil rights for you know african americans like there's you can point to systematic disadvantages that that men or that black that black that black people have through 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 a system of white supremacy and and that fight is not related to 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 the to the women's you know the the women's liberation movement at all you know what i'm saying like like i'm talking about in 2015 you know what i'm saying there's still disparaging numbers 
that we live in a system of 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 uh of systematic racism mm -hmm. like but but the but the feminist movement they 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 can't specifically point to institutions that perpetuate disadvantages for women like they can't point to that in 2015 they can't do that they don't you know what i'm saying so i just it's just it's just I just hate when people try to make that same comparison because it's not the same at all. But the thing about that, women have, right, nowadays, as of 2015, women have, you know, the most advantage in the world. Ex exactly. So I don't know how... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't and, 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 and another no, thing, no, no, too... No, they do. No, another thing, too, and especially, like, especially in a lot of Arab countries, a lot of the, first, a lot of the heads of states are women. In this world, uh, her women. Seriously, I, you. I don't. I wouldn't say that they got an equal playing field. I never said but, equal playing field. I said they have but, a lot of leverage. Uh, you, yeah, they have a lot of leverage, but I mean, they're still they're still not like, you know what I mean? Like women still are holding positions of power, just just the same way that you know what I mean? Like women, but, women are struggling. With but here's the thing: the, they don't the, need to be in power, though. Yeah, no, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing about. I don't, I just, no, no, hang on. Here's the thing, though. Like you're, you're you're saying that women aren't in this power, but but if women are given the same responsibility, sure they'll be in. Sure they'll have the power. Why yeah, wouldn't they? Exactly. But my thing is, we have the more we have men have more expectations. We have more required in us, and so yes, we're going to have more of those positions because we're we're, we're expected to do more. Women aren't expected to do more if they. Like now they've given themselves the right so they can they have the right to do more now. And if they do that, they'll have they'll get power just the same way. They'll be able to do their thing. Like it's 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 all about it's all about having having the having the ability to <clears throat> to put in more work and put in more time. We're expected yeah. to move we're, men are expected to do more. Period. <laughs> men are expected to die. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we're supposed to. Yeah, we're supposed to. We die get drafted first. We get drafted yeah, first. And women don't. And then, and that's the thing. Women don't. Women don't have to be drafted for the military at all. They don't have to at all. Men have to. If you There's get pulled over by a cop, us. more than likely, if you're a female, you're probably gonna get a pass. This is not forty percent. You're yeah. You're 40 you're more than likely like, to get a pass yeah. because you're a female. But that's what that's what you were saying before about double standards applying to both sides. Exactly, right. they favor mm -hmm. both sides in other in, in, in different instances. instances. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, all, I'm, off, I'm off. I'm off. the way, I, I ain't mad at that. Like, whatever. It is what it is. But the way the way the way feminists make it seem is that they don't have any any type of advantage at all. They don't see any advantage it, that females it, have it, nowadays at it, all. It, that's the women thing. Excel, and women excel in acad academics way better than men mm -hmm. now they, they excel because way of feminists, better than because of feminist movement exactly <laughs> like but you have you have you see the thing yeah. is i don't i don't know man I, I i don't associate women like women with feminism with, with feminists yeah. I, I i i exclude them from women like i i know women and then i know feminists like that's how bad it's gotten yeah that's how horrible and, it is and and we should and i think if feminists want to get to a better place with with everybody else you got to sit down and you got to and you got to listen like yo like you're not reaching us at all what your way is not working for us <laughs> you know what i'm saying this is why we can't work with you this is your why you're way is not working with this is why you isolate yourself from everybody else because even girls don't even want to hear that shit no they don't it's like yo, you're killing, yo, you're mad, yo, you're killing the buzz, man. Go somewhere with that. Like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to preach. Get out of here. Just like, just like the whole, just like the whole tech, like uh, uh, black dudes that are always preaching about the white man and this, that, and all this stuff, man. It's all just talk. Yeah, like, yeah I'm all down for everybody standing up for their rights, but I, I think I, I just. I wait to hear the whole story every time, right. and what my problem is is like even you know like what you said with um, black folks. Like I have a problem where a lot of times when there's like things that go on with the police or like some type of you know when somebody calls calls racism or something, I'm I'm always the last one to like hop in the debate, just because I tend to wait until I hear all the details first, and 
I think sometimes uh, with with the feminism thing and you know I guess individual cases this is a case by case thing because I mean there definitely are times I see women get done dirty um, but I think that sometimes I look at things a little differently right. um, I don't know how to explain that um, and and like I I just wait to hear all the details but I I, I don't know man it's tough because I feel like. <laughs> I, I can't be black and white on this subject because no, like, there's no way you sometimes can. No, there's, there's no a way. need. There's a because there's. I think there's a need for feminism. I think there's a need for 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 somebody to, for women to be able to stand up for themselves. But I also feel like at the same time. Oh, I believe in the women's movement. Yeah, stand up. I for believe yourself. in that, but right. feminism is when not you, when, when, when you when you continuously fail at bringing logic to the argument, and you like bring um unnecessary force like that have, have you ever seen anybody try to talk to a feminist i mean i don't really i, I don't really know any like no i mean like in videos and stuff like that like where, where they try to talk to them like to see what the problem is and they're like overlapping them they're like they they, they don't want to hear what anybody else has to say they're just like spearing out whatever they think is reality majority of the time that's what happens like there, there are feminists out there who are doing the right thing but majority of them i think are doing it wrong right but i, I really want to touch on some real quick before we get out of here like i don't know if you guys heard about kurt kurt Schelling the other day you guys heard about that? uh no no uh, the, ba- the baseball pitcher yeah yeah well i guess like um I think Monday he was like congratulating his daughter on you know getting you know getting into college or whatever you know posted a picture and say like, congratulate and like yo these trolls these dudes were just get on just being super disrespectful like they were they were equating his bloody sock to like what they want to do to his daughter like it was it was disgusting like the stuff they were saying to his daughter and so like this dude like uh, Kurt Kurt Schilling like he yo he got. He got every one of those, any one of those, those trolls that were attacking his daughter, got all their information, exposed them and got, got them fired and stuff. And that's, that, that type of stuff should be applauded. Like th- that, those are highlights that feminine, feminists should talk about and bring light. Whether, you know, whether, whether it's a, whether it's a girl or a guy stopping, stopping women being, being abused and harassed like that that type of stuff should be illuminated and highlighted but mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying i'm a guy and i i felt that was empowering and liberating that that happened those guys all those guys should have got fired like that's just disrespect like why would you the way you the way they were talking about his daughter was crazy like like if he, if they were face to face he probably would have killed him you know what i'm saying like it's like come on and yeah. she's a minor at that like that's disgusting you know? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't peep that. I gotta look that up. Yeah, me too. And I, I, I didn't and my about question, that. Yeah, my question is for feminists: is Why can't you post something like that and talk about your talk about talk about your progress and talk about your movement? But you pick Corinne Steffens to the, to start voicing start voicing your uh, agendas. Like, come on, man, it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would never, I would never understand that, man. The Corinne Steffens defense, but yeah. <sighs> Nevertheless, man, you know, I think we got to wrap things up We're running uh, so close to the time limit. But uh, appreciate everybody. If you got some comments, leave them down below. Um, add into the discussion. We appreciate all the comments that we get on the podcast. Also, um, big shout out to our sponsors, Zombie Life and also Zilla and Stush. Check out both their websites. That's Zombie Life with a Y um, and Zilla and Stush, Zilla with an X. So definitely check them out. Get fresh for the springtime because, you know, the snow is going to end eventually. All right. Well, appreciate y'all, and we'll holla at y'all, all right, next week, all right? Peace. All right, peace. Later.